Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Why are you eating your little biscuit feet? And welcome to another episode of Janice Dickinson's Modeling. <laughs> oh, you don't really like Janice, do you? No. No, she was not a perfect fashion moment. <gasps> So my lovelies, it was my birthday last week and this is the first time that I'm filming for ages actually. And I'm with little Mr. Biscuits. Oh, your eyes are looking so good now. Are you sleepy? You've been waiting at the balcony door to scream at the neighbor dog, haven't you? Yes, you're my little Asbo dog, aren't you? Yes. Deranged. If you're wondering how Little Biscuit's eyes have gotten so much better, it's because I actually realised that he might have an intolerance to chicken. So now he gets turkey as a little treat instead. So even though it's chicken for biscuit, chicken could be absolutely anything. I think he actually thinks it means treat. So my lovelies, in the last episode of Janice Dickinson's Modelling we saw some pretty difficult things to be discussed. Janice has a very strange way of interacting with any person of color on her show. She sort of changes the way she speaks like full stop and it comes across very disrespectful. And it's a little bit like, hmm, why are you doing all this? This is doing way too much. Like, can't you just be a normal person? Ark at me saying that to someone. <laughs> why can't you just be normal? So, Little Biscuit, are you ready to walk the runway? I just don't know anymore. I had a wonderful time at my birthday last week. We actually went and stayed at a llama sanctuary, didn't we, Little Biscuit? Yes. Although you didn't see the llamas because I have a feeling that you would be like, no, what is that? I hate it. But he did very much enjoy going for walks in the forest, didn't you? Yes, and socializing with the little Pomeranians that also stayed with us. Yes, they completely ignored you because you're an annoying little puppy. <laughs> How dare you? One of the top comments from the last episode of Janice Dickinson's Modeling is by Gay Goth Pirate. Happy Pride Month, my love. And they say, the way she fetishizes the men so quickly and is so overly harsh with some of the women just gives me the ick. And you know what? I feel like that's a really great way to describe my reaction to Janice quite a lot of the time is that Quite often she just gives me the ick. She's just quite icky, do you know what I mean? Like, incredibly judgmental. I mean, I know the modeling industry kind of requires that because it is literally a competition based on the way you look. But still, I feel like there are ways to deliver information that aren't completely soul destroying. Don't be <laughs> rude. Are you kidding me? What a concept, oh my God, can you imagine? Is it time for the biscuit ASMR hour? Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, little kisses. So, my lovelies, without any further nonsense, are you ready to watch another episode with Mia to Dia? It is super hot here in London. I have the window open, so I do apologize if you can hear some sort of like construction of like bang, bang, goiter, metal pipe. For some reason, everyone's like, I want a brand new house. <sighs> I don't know who could afford them though. Why are they building all these houses? Voodoo economics. So my loves, get your ochenga at the ready. Today I am not on an energy drink, but I'm on the Pupsualier Max. Mainly because I've had a bit too much caffeine today and I'm a little bit like, oh, it could go either way. She's dead. Season two, episode three. I believe this one is called Callbacks. So like, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Oh, that was nearly an accident. On the Janice Dickinson model. Janice, oh! Whatever it is that you do in a lily colored dress. Oh, a headband, she's on the go and on the game. Everyone loves Janice, the ozone. <laughs> Okay, right, yes, I say something felt, and an Afghan hound. Two very important aspects of fashion. Lovely, right, here we are. LA, ja uh, no, Holly, Hollywood. Come on, I'm on a schedule. I don't, I'm, I didn't do this agency for a hobby. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Janice. This agency is a complete hobby for you. Oh, I suppose I could use a new hobby. I swear, every time we start this show, it's always like Janice being like, Why isn't there my Just, like, the amount of cortisol this woman must have in her body is probably what keeps the volume at the root. Cortisol, delivered by Bumpets. Bump it up with Bumpets. Get that salon-style look, fast and easy. Right, so what's happening now? She's not on a... She doesn't do this for a hobby. What's happening next? This morning we have a meeting for Fashion for the Cure. This charity is extremely important to me because it just brings more awareness to breast cancer. Okay, right. So actually we might potentially have a lovely episode where we're seeing like a change in Janice and the agency being like we're doing something good. But again, it's one of these things where 
technically working for a charity could be a good like business deal, but also it feels a little bit like it's not again a high fashion situation, which is what she's constantly driving into everyone on this show. She's like, hi fashion, but get your clothes off, girl. Oh, welcome to the Janice Stickers and Modeling Agency. Oh, this is a great Olive opportunity Green. for my models. They not only get to wear designs for Mark Zanino and Warren Mark Alexander, Zanino. they're doing this for extremely important cause. Right, so yes sorry. it is. You caught me on and off. So me. Hello, yeah. sorry. Hi. Oh, How do you do? Oh, oh, nice to sorry, you. why was she like, I'll shake your hand, but elbow you? What was that? Sorry, you caught me on an off. Elbow, yeah. sorry. You caught me on an off. Oh, you oh, caught me on an off. Nice Welcome. You're more beautiful than I thought. Well, it takes one to know one. Walk in and sit down, please. Okay. It's a tremendous responsibility to support breast cancer awareness. Yes. I get the fluff for the agency. I'm more concerned about the charity. Who's the boss here? Sharon's Who's the leader? I'm the founder of Fashion for the Cure. Fashion for the Cure is a benefit to raise funds for breast cancer research. Again, this show has no audio measuring at all. This woman doesn't have a mic. Janice doesn't even have a mic. The mic is out the front door, down the road going, Hello, do you have some ice cream out there? We're really here to meet you, see you girls, and ask you if you would be our MC this year. <gasps> I'm happy to accommodate you. Okay, okay. Oh. So once again, at the Janice show. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, would you like to take a look at our girls now? I just love Peter, why don't you go Would you like to take a look at the girls? Thank you. Girls! Right. Wow, hello everybody. You guys all ready? Yes. Yes. Before I get in, I want to say that we had a really Wait, big... is this the first time we've seen Peter Ham for ages? Was he in the last episode as well? God, the last episode was two months ago. I literally looked at my upload order and was like, I am doing far too many series in one go here because it's going to be like months until we cycle through everything. So thank you everyone for sticking with me. ADHD. Uh, start several projects before finishing the last one. We had a really big internal problem at the office. This yeah. client specifically only wanted girls who were five foot nine or taller. You're five foot nine, you guys are all very tall, but you guys were not supposed to be called. And I really want to apologize to you because it's an internal mistake that we made. So I really apologize for that, okay? Peter comes in and says, oh, we need models that are five nine. And I'm five eight and I'm looking at him going, what's one inch, you know? What, what's the difference? All right, let's go. I mean, Oh, it's really difficult to see, isn't it? Because like literally one inch can be the difference. I'm a slut, Doug. I guess when you are hiring to a criteria, if you have a lot of people that fit the criteria and you have one or two people that don't, it is just faster and more business savvy to be like, I'm sorry, but the criteria we're looking for, you're not here. But do you know what I want to say? I'm genuinely surprised that he is like, I want to apologize to you. He's not just like, well, you should have been an inch taller, shouldn't you, you stupid bitch? Oh my, Michelle. <laughs> oh, they're staying. They're staying. What? Oh, Where is this? Staying. We're too short. short. For that, that line is closing. They said 5'9 or up. These girls aren't true. Same family girls. I'm not sure what Peter was thinking, but Natalie and Tracy were perfect for the Fashion for the Cure casting, so I had them join in. But you're a makeup artist, not a hiring specialist or a producer or a casting person. Interesting. Okay, I didn't realize that as a makeup artist, I could be like, no, let them all in. That would not happen in a real life modeling situation. I mean, maybe if your title wasn't just makeup artist, like Janice's makeup artist. Like, why are you even here, actually? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even here, girls? Oh, she's getting out the claws today, my love. Bitch! You wanna bring them? Yeah. Because that one right, girl is come young on, and come fresh. On, come on, come on, come on. So, Sorry, what was the point of Peter even... What was the point of even doing all that? Why was he like, no, you're too short. And, he's, and then just a makeup artist is like, actually, beautiful. And so he's like, come on then, come on then. It just goes to show there are absolutely no rules to this show. There's no rules to modeling. You can break the mold if you want to. And if you take a great picture, like surely the point of it is the outcome. I don't know. But if the client has also said, uh, no, we need people that are over this height. But then like, are they going to measure them? Like, could you, I don't know if I could tell just by looking at someone straight ahead, who's 5'9 and who's 5'8. You know? Cancelled! Oh, what? I mean, like, you could literally just, like, stretch yourself up a little bit higher and be like, I am 5'10, uh. I'm very perplexion. I need to see where you are. 
designer. Chris Jules, you be the first. Crystal, you better you better put your shoulders back I and serve it. Nice to see you got rid of the. It can be a little more fun, a little more bouncy if you want. Bouncy. This is an Bounce show that. You Say guys. something, Belt. Don't be afraid to smile. <laughs> Okay, so this is I like right fun right yeah. runway. Crystal, you look beautiful today. You're very well put together. In your complete that? Okay. I brought a new girl, Desiree, in for the casting. I bet she'd be perfect for the job. I didn't tell Janice about it, but maybe I should have. What was that? Have you ever seen any more of a scripted, like, talking head section than that? L look. Casting. I bet she'd be perfect for the job. I didn't tell Janice about it, but maybe I should have. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Yarmy Denzel Table Doofs. Ebi Duka Mimi Shoofs. He picked Gipsy up for goop. What was that? Oh dear, Janice is gonna be like, get out with your beige shoe! In the car, yeah, so get them. Don't ever come to an audition with those boots on again. What did I just say? I don't know. Somebody he just pulled out of the. Probably found her walking by. When Desiree came in the office, she was gonna really go for her there, did you see? Somebody just pulled out of that. Probably just saw walking by. But like, what's the problem with seeing someone just walking by who you could be like, do you know what? Yes, come on. Let's have a kiki. Mother, lock the doors. Hey, come on my runway. <laughs> and I just took one look at her, scowled her face, yelled at the girl for having the wrong kind of shoes and kicked her out. Who's this girl that just came in? My name is Desiree. Where'd you find her? She's, she's not even a fashion runway really girl. How do you know she's not a fashion runway girl, Janice? You don't even know the girl. You don't even know her. Janice in this entire show gives very like, madam vibes. Do you know what I mean when I say that? Like, mother of the house. Very, I'm gonna be awful to everyone and you have to respect me because I am the mother. I was the world's first supermodel. Very that. I mean, she did have an illustrious modeling career. We can't deny that. But like, this isn't a modeling show. This is a drama show through the lens of, not even modeling, is it? It's through the lens of like, wacky Janice at it again, girls. She's, she's not even a fashion woman, my God. She's booked seven shows over here. She's not I love it. She's not even a fashion runway girl. She's booked seven shows. I just, no, the wrong boots. She's not in the agency yet. I Desiree, I have yet another great marketable talent that can work. And once again, Janice is pushing them away. Yes. And every pretty girl she I bring in the agency now, that. Janice doesn't want. I don't understand it. It's killing my ability to make the agency money and make it successful completely. You don't just surprise me with bringing in a new girl when I'm sitting with the client. There is a serious lack of communication at my agency. That's because every time someone tries to communicate to you, Janice, you just go, Oh my God. And therefore, it makes it very difficult to actually make sensible decisions. <laughs> right. Shoulders back, Cena. More back, more back, more back. Thank you. More back. Perfect. Become an entire spine. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. Female, you look amazing today. Electric Flip orange. It out, work it out. Work. Work that belt. The other day, Peter brought in a couple of new girls that he wanted in the agency. Yes. I want girls that work. Oh, he After did. After meeting me. the girls, I didn't say no to them, but I didn't invite them to join the agency either. Today, two of those girls, Pamela and Tracy, are here for the casting. I am really curious to see how they'll do. Do you have any scissors, Gabe? I'm not kidding you. I mean, you're wearing a drape. Take your hands off your hips. If I see one hand on the hip, I'm going to chop the hand off. Tracy walks in. Not Tracy Martell. Love that. <laughs> I... Cal. Hey, I'm walking down the pier. I want all the surfer boys to watch me. The devil did not like the way she walked. She's so cute. The devil didn't like the way she walked? Unacceptable! Is she referring to herself as the devil in this situation? Hmm, interessage liais. She's so cute that she maybe has some hope to I all like this. I like that dress. This is better to take a model that has all this bubbliness inside and to suppress it rather than take a girl that doesn't have anything and then try to build something from nothing. Tracy has so much going for her. I'm gonna write her the hardest. That was not acceptable at all. 
what does Janice want? What does Janice want? She's like, no, don't bring them near me. But if you bring them near me, I'm going to suppress them. What does she want? Does she not want happy bubbly models that are great at booking shows, have a lot of personality? I guess she doesn't want that, does she? She kind of has this idea of models being this like stoic coat hanger with zero personality, but just enough that she's like, look at my girls, look at my girls, aren't they gorgeous? Look at my girls. I don't know where you're thinking do they do this in Southern California. They don't do that in Paris or New York. They're walking down the runway with the hands on the hips. Nine. Okay. This is gonna be hard. Right. They're all good. They're special it's girls. It's a bit weird to talk yeah. like that in front of a client, so. no? Okay, so I have five. Who? Crystal, Stina, Pierce, Natalie, and then Pierce Pierce walk over Mia Bell? So I love all five of you guys, and so I'm gonna have all five of you walk over. Oh, so excited to see the fashion show for Fashion for Akira. When I got here, Peter told me that because I was 5'7", he didn't want me walking in front of the clients, which was really disappointing. Tay. But I went up anyways, and I walked, and I booked the job, and I proved Peter wrong, so tea. I'm really happy right now. Wig tea. This is the same energy we need to see during the Fashion for the Cure. Right. After my girls were picked for fashion a successful for the cure, morning at the agency. Peter went outside to talk to Crystal about the show. Right. No, I got drama. I forgot on her. You she are had, drama. She already had Jamie Presley confirmed for Thursday night. So, <gasps> fashion for a cure. so that's your fault as an agent that you double booked her? I do it all the time. Great. I'm not perfect. Well done, well done, Peter. I'm gonna try to work it out. That's right total now. Bullshit. She's double booked. The bottom line is well, she's gonna do the pay job rather than the, the charity job. Oh no. She does the pay job. Then you're gonna have to we'll call them Fashion for the Cure and make your apologies. Now, Peter, so they're aware of it. I will call them. T, so what we just heard here is that Janice's charity client is all, this is all like, what do you call it? Pro bono? No, not pro bono. No bono? No bono? Bonio. Different thing. No pay? So she's already booked a job that's going to pay. So of course you would send her, like that takes priority. Like. Charit, like she's all like, no, she's unavailable, girls. Unavailable, Janice. That. I will call them and take care. Bye, go. This just happened at LA Fashion Week. Your girl. She dropped out last minute. Somebody get him on the phone. Oh, now, he did do Peter this before, once again has yes. failed to communicate that he's booked another model on another job. Oh. For the sake of our relationship, this lack of communication has to end immediately. Okay. Quickly, someone get her a pager. I am for Starbucks. Did I make her cry? <laughs> Peter, go, uh, go go to Starbucks and placate that girl who wasn't even with the agency that you threw in at the last minute and you shocked me. She's crying in Starbucks. You know, I don't want to make people cry. I That's your fault, so go and make her feel better. Right now, I'm going to try to talk to Desiree. Janice doesn't want to make her cry. Janice loves making people feel uncomfortable to the point of like, they get an emotional response. And then Janice is like, no, it's just the business. Like, has, can anyone ever run such a client-facing, human-facing business where you're just like this? Has, like, imagine in any, any other instance, imagine you go to your dentist and they're like, no, it's disgusting, why have you brought her in here? She looks like she's Southern California, she's on the pier, all the boys are like, ugh. Like, could you ever cope with being spoken to like that? Like, if even if... Oh, I don't know. It's just really difficult to watch because Janice will push everyone's buttons and then when they react, she's like, what? I don't know what you mean. I don't want to make people upset. I just want to sit and eat my popcorn and watch people get upset. But I didn't make them upset. It was your fault that they're upset that I said they're a disgusting piece of shit and should die. But I didn't say that. I did. Like, Janice is so up, down, left, right, all over the show. She's like a DDR song on Extreme. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Find out exactly how bad she's feeling and do the best I can to get her back in there so that Janice can meet her one-on-one -on -one and understand this girl's a good, working, marketable talent. Right, right. so she's got seven shows booked. Thank you. You're welcome. That is a working model, yes. My name is Desiree, and Peter asked me to come back in and see Janice. Hello. And talk to her. Oh. Apparently Peter said that you work a lot. You have such beautiful long legs. Why would you want to hide them in tucked in jeans and boots? I understand. It doesn't make any really sense to you? No, it does. I apologize. You don't have to apologize. Just don't do it again. 99% of this industry is rejection, but a lot of the time it's not outright said to your face. Apology. Yeah, I think that's 20. the difference, Let's isn't see it? You walk. She's got a bump it in, girls. How big are you in the hips? 
Um, I think it's a 34 and a half, 35. Because in your jeans from behind, being straight up, I love you, but you look like a 38 or a 39 hip. She said my jeans weren't flattering and that they made me look wider in the hip. I'm pretty sure I'm a 34 and a half, 35. Maybe I'm a 36 this week, who knows? That's an easy I way to do this. I hear you crying outside. No, Autumn never. Said, somebody said you were crying, just be straight up. I'm not crying. You don't have to cry. Tears, Wes. Oh, that's so embarrassing. That's so, the power dynamic here is so weird. Imagine so, a celebrity that you've just met that's like top of the range in your industry is like, don't cry because I told you. Don't cry. Why are you crying? Don't cry. If anything, if someone keeps telling me not to cry, the likely reaction I'm going to have is just burst into tears, even though I do not cry. Well, I do a little bit. Little bit, yes. yes. No? You, were you crying? No, she said. I'm not here to make you cry. No. Yes, I'm you here are. to run a business. I understand that. I'm 100%. Sit down, honey. She's very, she's very Should we trial basis your butt? How, are you willing to, like, like run? I mean, really run yeah. to get to, to lose it? All right, in any case, goodbye, that's it. She's already so tiny. Are you willing to run to get even smaller? Uh... How did any of us survive the mid 2000s? That. Well, guess what, Mimi? We did. Thank you. Today wasn't discouraging. You can't let this industry get to you, because that's how it is. And if you do, it'll break you down and you won't do anything. You won't go anywhere. Don't cry. <laughs> no cry. It doesn't suit you. But I understand you get a lot of men's attention by crying. It doesn't work on me. Aww. It doesn't work on well, me. That wasn't my. That okay. wasn't my. It doesn't work on me. Goodbye. I wasn't sure. Sometimes people are just sensitive. They're not always, like, people don't always cry for attention. Like, she hasn't cried to go, uh, she's gone, she's cried because you were quite hateful to her. Like, anyone after a, a, an altercation in which you've been confronted about something, which, you know, body type can be quite confronting. Like, you, people aren't always really that secure in themselves, especially in an industry like modeling. And then being like, you don't cry, it doesn't work on me. I'm not like one of the guys who does things for you whilst you cry. Uh, take your keratin bonds elsewhere. For about Desiree, not only does she need to work on her skin and her ass, but she has to work on her personality because she's coming off with an air of insolence when it's really insecurity. But you know what? She has something. So I'm gonna- Is Janice talking to the mirror? Take her into the agency on a trial basis. Right, so she's given her all this negative feedback and then gone, but we're gonna let you in. Come on, let's do That's this. Like... Necessary. Right, we're off to the boutique, girls. Today we're at Lush, soon to be the Kevin Josephson Salon of Beverly Hills. Kevin's been an old friend of mine who's been repairing my hair color for the past 12 or 13 years. Right. My models need their hair in perfect working order. I the hair, see. the looks, so the walk. So we can rock it more and twirly for their portfolios. So my models here? Yes, they're here. We started a couple things, but nothing without you. Right. Is this Natalie, like the makeover Natalie. episode Natalie. of American Jeez, Next Model? Look at your eyes. My God. I think we rock out these layers a little what? bit. Natalie, come here. Nat, Natalie. Kevin. Hi. Jesus, look at your eyes. My God. I think we rock out these layers a little bit. Play with this bang a little shorter. I think it'll really be nice for you. Why don't we see Stina? I would really love to see the curl. We're going to do some extensions on you and add curl to it. Billy, get over here. Curly extensions, a mistake. I don't know, this <laughs> Not everybody needs a change. He know, needs curly like extensions. She needs curly extensions. Curly extensions for everyone. Please. And a layer in the front, just one. As I sent everyone off to get their hair done, there was a little tiny issue that I needed to discuss with Crystal. Oh, excuse me, God. Crystal, come here, please. Oh God, what's You're Crystal in the doghouse. Now? Come here. Get over here. I'm not happy with this. This is from Alan Del Rosario. Coming up. Ooh, what's gonna happen next, girls? Find out next week on my Chanel. Actually, we're gonna find out right now. Oh, that's nice. Heat stroke, girls. Right, here we go. What's gonna happen to Crystal? Immediately to the electric chair? Oh, what have you done? Crystal, what have you please. done with my Priya? This? this is from Alan Del Rosario. I received an email from Alan Del Rosario regarding Crystal's performance at LA Fashion Week. Right. So I had to take a moment to talk to her about what he said. What did he say? I got an email. And I want to read it to you. It's from Alan Del Rosario. We were very disappointed with Crystal, who behaved and brought an energy to the runway that was somewhere between surly and indifference and snotty disdain. Woo! All right, now, Not first snotty. of all, I think as far as what they mean about you... No, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. It's okay. No, it's not okay. No, it's not okay. Just be better. You have to be the best you have to be. Otherwise, um, I'm not going to represent you. I don't want to hear this, okay? Get your hair done. I, I need a break. 
Jessica. When Janice was reading the email, I mean, it came to a shock to me because I didn't realize that, that when it came off that way. But Janice is definitely disappointed. Do you know what would have easily have fixed that? Some training. None of these girls have any training from this agency at all. Wait, was Crystal the one in the first season that she was like, come back in six months? No. She was the one she gave the bangs to, with like, the curly sort of bob with a, with a bang. How many makeovers are we going to see? Passion. Okay, so let's deconstruct that, shall we? Your agency gets an email about your performance, and in this email is a slew of negative reactions to your performance. Instead of just saying, be better, do better. What should have happened is she should have had a personal development meeting, showed her where she could improve, and then show her some examples of what that improvement could look like. Berating someone in a hair salon whilst they're getting a makeover is not like, how can you, how can you possibly build someone up from that? I hate this old phrasing. I've said it before on the Chanel. I'm going to say it again because we see it all the time in these modeling shows. You can't break someone down to build them up. You then just have a broken person who's got a trauma response of like, oh, I need to do so much better so I'm gonna become a perfectionist and everything's gonna be bad in comparison. So, I don't know. If I had an employee who wasn't doing their best, I would give them the opportunity to improve. And that would be through my guidance for whatever I needed them to do, you know, within my, whatever it is that I might be doing in this hypothetical situation. Let's just say I hire a video editor. They've made a couple of choices in my video editing that I don't particularly gel with. I would be like, right, we're gonna look at what we can improve and what we can change. And this is how I would do those individual sections. If you're a little bit confused in the future, drop me a line quickly. And then we can actually talk about how we can fix the situation. No, there was no fixing here. There was just, you did bad, do better, don't cry. Do better is not critique. Is that tea? Sucky feeling. <laughs> Crystal True Heart. That's such a like new age name. <laughs> now look at her. She's crying with a bob outside. Oh dear, she's got the shoulder pads in. I saw that Crystal was still crying after I had read her the email, so I went to her to comfort. Still crying after? Well, yes. What did you expect? Her to be like, ah, <laughs> what fun we had, snotty on the runway. <laughs> her because I didn't want her to take the news oh, too dead. hard. To comfort her because I didn't want her to take the news too hard. I know like I hold something back and I don't know why. I think he was talking about that he was disappointed in the way you walk. Yes. So fine. This is Easy all thing. constructive criticism. I'm not yelling at you. This no, is not constructive. <laughs> I'm not yelling at you. That's not like, this is so aggressive. This is not like, oh, we're really sorry that we got this feedback. Do you know, we can actually take something positive from this. I know the words they said were pretty damning, but what we can do is do X, Y, and Z. Like none of, not sitting in a salon chair being like, I'm not yelling at you. Stop crying. Ugh, gross. It's okay. You have the capabilities of being a powerhouse supermodel. Right. I, I believe this is every fiber of my being. Yes. Which is like, that means a lot to me. Like, there is such a power dynamic in this show because these like contestants, models that have come into this agency are like newbies. They're fresh faced newbies. They don't know a lot about like the modeling world yet because if they did, they probably wouldn't be on this show. This is, it's so weird to see someone behave like this, like Janice talking like that. Stop, fuck up, okay? Crystal is very analytical over her body image and extremely hard on herself. And so you're going to make careful, it worse. She's not going to last that much longer in this industry if she doesn't develop a much thicker height on herself. Cheer up. All right, I didn't do that to make you cry. I know, I know. I feel like you might have, you know. Right, okay. We're in the salon, Can girls. Dye, there's a one. I've never gotten a professional hair dye before. Mm. And now we get to do it for free and I'm so excited. Sunglasses in an overhead hairdryer? Wouldn't that make the little metal bands here really hot and uncomfortable on your ears? No? Ooh, three photos in a single frame. She's been on Etsy. Oh, very Claire roll. As I was getting my hair done, a few of the girls pulled me aside to tell me that they were running late to an event and had to leave immediately. I lost my 
marbles. You can't go off and book a job without letting me know. I brought you here, worked with you all day, and now you're off to do a fashion show. I am not approving this whatsoever. These girls booked the job without my approval. This what does that tell you, behavior Janice? is totally unacceptable for a modeling agent. How am I supposed to run a model's life if I don't know what they're doing and they're booking jobs for themselves? Who told me, Ethan? Well, Peter knew about it. Peter yeah, never tells me anything. These guys are telling Peter me about it. Start talking to you about things. They're booking themselves out. They want the exposure. They want to get the experience. You can't book a job without me knowing what the f you're doing. You can't do that. That's not how the business works. You know, otherwise, like real build your own agencies, okay? I'm tired of all the miscommunication, especially with Peter, but most importantly, with the models. This is absolutely out of control, and I have to put a stop to it. So that's why I called Peter on the spot. I'm tired of Peter booking jobs but without Is she going to fire Peter? You're, are you in on this? You're, you're supposed to be going too? Oh, really? All of a sudden you got a job from Peter. Well, that's a break. Peter, it's Janice. Why am I not informed that Dina, Crystal, Pierce, and Adia Bell are supposed to be going to do another event? I'm yelling at you, you on the phone. You are not book another model with my models, Peter, unless you run them by me, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to find a new partner, all right? you. I'm sorry. I'll get rid of him. You all right? And you guys will be on your own with the Peter Ham agency. I'm furious. Know that I'm furious because I, I care. You know. I'll call you first thing. Yeah, you call me. You call me first thing in the morning. Somebody call me and check in with me. Okay. I told Peter. I told Ethan. I told everyone, but I didn't tell Janice, and that was my mistake. No, that's not your mistake, sis. You're the one without power in this situation. Or Peter. What a weird confrontation that was. And in the end, it sort of seemed like she was like, you know what, it's fine, yeah, go off and do it. If it wasn't that much of a problem in the beginning, why make it so much of a problem? Budget cuts. Gosh, I'm so irate this episode. My eyelids are getting oily. Are you that sort? How are you? I'm very happy Good. that you're here. I'm Dr. Lillian Glass. I called Dr. I Lillian Glass, a well-known communication psychologist. Ooh. She's tops in her field to help me mediate. She tops in her field. Been having with Peter and hopefully to resolve the problems Peter's been having with me. And I knew that Peter had a huge ego, mm -hmm. as I have an even more huge ego. Is this Being marriage counseling? Industry, that's what we have. The clash of that. I've never come up against such strife. I feel that being in this partnership with Peter, it's like having a third child. Janice was yeah, forthright. You're the child. She told me everything that was going on. She told me what her fears were, what really made her angry. She really spoke. The size of that rose on her lapel. Hey, Dr. Lillian Glass. Right. Hi. Hi. Let me ambush you with this Hall. woman. Hi, Peter. How are you doing? He's going to add her to the agency. Aston, because I've been really unhappy lately about the way we've been getting along. I don't like the idea that Janice had a shrink there waiting for me. Once again, she probably should have told... Why do we call them shrinks? Why, why is that like a colloquial term? What does that mean? Shrink. What do they do? Is that shrink as in like... Wait, what? I didn't like that she had a shrink waiting for me. Is that... That feels a bit like a slur. Is that a medical slur? Told me she was going to do this. She has a nasty habit of just She's making decisions for business. herself that she thinks benefits us. So, Janice, come and sit on my white leather We're sofa. We're going to have to do some serious communication here right. because there's a major breakdown, as you both know. Right. Are you going to be mad at me for like? Do you know what would fix this? this? A personal assistant that goes between both of them. Ta-da! Done! She's educated. For like having, uh, bringing this up, because if you do, just, tell me now. It's another unilateral tell thing me. that you decide without discussing with me. No. You just do it. You just make all these decisions the without ever communicating. You do this every time. It's a who tie. you are. Wait, Wait a minute. It's not who I Wait am. a minute. First of all, there's so much tension. Whatever she says, it's going to be, well, she's micromanaging. Ugh, here she is again. And whatever he says, I'm going to be angry. So both of you were in trouble. That's why I'm here. I don't want to be angry anymore. I want harmony. Yeah. I want, I want, okay I want okay. to... Do you know what I really want? I really want to invite this communications expert to come in and just yell at me. Thank you. Communication issues solved because I'm going to be so open to listening to somebody else's point of view when it is yelled at me on a white leather sofa. Nothing like it. I'm not yeah. angry anymore. I want harmony. I want, I'm okay I want, with that. I want to floor. That's what it's I'm about. Okay, okay. That. can I ask you what I do that, that infuriates you? Now I'm hearing I micromanage. Help me help the business. That's what I'd like to hear. Okay, first thing is you're bossy. Yes. Okay. You're bossy to everybody. Yes. Okay. Even me. I'm yes. a partner and you treat me like, Peter, go get this. Peter, go do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, communicating with you is very difficult. Yes. Calling you on the phone listen. is probably my least favorite thing in the world to do. <gasps> Gagged. Oh, bombshell girls, quickly, to the exclusive fashion show. What's gonna happen next? 
I had I'm... a communication expert, Dr. Oh, the audio has died. Why is that? Peter and I resolved some of our issues together. Mind you, this session was not getting off to a good start at all. I wonder the... when they filmed these like talking head sections because every time we see them, they're dressed differently, different lighting, different location, probably a different day. So is the whole thing filmed and then just all spliced in at the end? Or like, as they go? I feel like nowadays, when we see like talking head sections, we have people specifically wearing like the same costume, the same makeup, the same lighting, the same location, so that there is like a sense of continuity. This is so disjointed. And I feel like this, we see it a lot in America's Next Top Model as well, because I feel like it's like adding extra storyline production value, where maybe the episode was already edited, already the storyboard for the episode was put together, and then producers are like, we need more context to this bit. Go and go and talk in that corner with that lighting, with that fountain in the background. Was not getting off to a good start at all. That's not oh. healthy. No, it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, it's never a pleasant conversation. Mm -hmm. it, and it's, it's, why is that? Well, first of all, she's always too busy. Too busy? Okay. She's always doing multitasking. Right. Uh, her attention span is very small. I think some of the issues that Peter brought up... Maybe she has ADHD. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to change being the world's first supermodel, being bossy and being very overly opinionated, but I would, I'm willing to work with Peter because I do respect him and I would like to see the, our relationship flourish. Let's okay. talk about the vision for the agency. I just see it more selective. I completely understand where you're coming from on that. But if we just find that one or two girls that fits that bill mm -hmm. and we take years to develop them, we'll go broke doing it. Yes. There's a solution for this. You both need to have Peter and Janice time. Oh, let's Away do from that. everybody. And it has to be every day. You can agree to disagree. Okay. Are we good? Done. I mean, running an agency, I don't think you can agree to disagree, really. If you're 50% of a business and you disagree con constantly, how are you possibly ever going to run anything? This communications expert, what did she say there? She basically said, go away and think about what you've done. <laughs> you guys are in a crisis. I'm on my Peace. That doesn't create conflict resolve. Janice needs to have a select group of girls that she can quite clearly like want to be ultra supermodels, but the business does need to have the, oh God, am I gonna say workhorses here? The workhorses that book the regular jobs, the jobs that maybe aren't, you know, selective high fashion, Paris runway couture, but very much like ophthalmologist adverts, Vision Express. I'm not even in the modeling industry and I feel like I can have a better business sense. That's it. I hope that this meeting today with Dr. Glass will help improve our communication. I, well, it's really up to Janice. Janice is the one that has to answer the phone and talk intelligently to me without being distracted. She needs to make private time for us and not just have her hair done. Okay. You take care and my pleasure. Nice to meet you. I have to you. pee. I'll listen to him. I'll take the meetings at the end of the day. He might be bringing valid stuff to the table, but he needs to change, not me, honey. I'm in the dictionary. Thank you, Dr. Glass. My pleasure. Take care. God bless. No compromise. Oh, makeup on the game. A clamshell phone in a time. suit. The charity is a, a very important charity. It's for a good cause. And yes. that way, all the right. money raised can go to where it really is needed. How are you? It's great, right, great to see happen? you. Well, that's a I nice am dress. so elated and honored to be the hostess of this evening's event. I've been doing charity work for the last 30 years. And Ooh, it's just enabled me hair. to keep going. Well, anything I could do, anything at all, let me know. Hey. Oh, a nice building. How's it going? I was on a testing board, but now this is the second job I book in the row, and I'm ready for tonight. Hi guys, thanks for doing this. <laughs> I wasn't originally picked to do the Fashion for the Cure fashion show, but they originally picked Crystal, and she was double booked on but another Crystal's job, dead. so the designer chose me. I think that's pretty good for someone that wasn't even supposed to be in the casting in the first place. Very cool. Is this a jewelry show? show? The show's about to start, and the models and I are a bit nervous. The stairs are... Hang on. We don't even know the context of this show, do we? So, a runway show, but showcasing what for charity? Are we doing an auction? Are we... selling diamonds? Diamonds! Are we... highest bidder wins a party outing? Like, what is this? Serious. They're no joke. Oh, I'm thinking, oh my god, what if I fall? What if I fall? I'm hurt myself. The only context we have is stairs. You guys, thank you so Just much done. for being here. It's up to us as models 
to give back. I think it's part of my job Stina as hair. an agent to help my models understand that some things are more important than modeling or money. Hopefully, tonight's event will help them see that. Very easy for someone with money to say, there are many more important things in the world than money. Very easy for someone with money to say that. Hopefully, tonight's event will help them see that. So thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I think most people see that. Most not, people know that already. Just knock their socks off. Right, what, what is this? An MC? What should it's working out. A dishe. A gown! Participating in fashion for the character really touched all our models' hearts. I just felt appreciative just to be a part of something like this. Because I think it made Janice and Peter proud that us five girls are willing to do this. I don't understand the context. It was a little nerve-wracking watching my models come down the stairs. But they did great. Oh, gorgeous. They were absolutely oh, yes. perfect. I loved working with Janice's models tonight. They were all really fun to work with and great. They had great energy. They wore the clothes amazing. It was. I still don't understand fashion for the cure, but what, are we selling the fashion? Surely that's the point, right? Raise money for the charity. No? Am I completely incorrect in assuming that that's the reason why we're doing all this? Just what I was looking for. Good job. Good job. Good job. What you doing, girl? Peter came right up to me, all smiling. I was like, OK, well, let me fake a smile, too. Oh, so I did. I haven't had a chance to congratulate you, but I'm very, very proud of the way you walked the runway the other night. It was Thank amazing. Thank you, Peter. The client actually sent me an email saying that you were amazing. He was very, very happy. Oh, dear. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> all right, well, goodbye forever. Testing board and then getting all these jobs. I proved Peter Ham wrong. Oh, that's true. I forgot there was a bit of like animosity there, wasn't there? Of course, makes sense. Because Peter was like, no, nah, she's not going to do that. And she's blown them away, girls. Peter Ham, wrong for <gasps> my beverage. I'd like a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. For looking down at me. Gorgeous. Thank you, I love Peter. a sequin moment. Still don't like you. Oh, okay. Good morning. Janice's boudoir. Welcome back. Looking like models in the making to me. The morning of the callbacks. Today back. is our open casting call callbacks. After How losing many? half our models, I held an open casting call. Found some of the best kids yet. Yes. I love you. I love you. It's some very amazing new models showed meet and up. Greet, though, isn't and it? I really look forward to getting a closer look at the models. We choose to return for callbacks. Right. With this agency attracting more clients each day. What does it is closer look mean? To acquire more and more and more fresh faces. There were 3,000 people that turned up for the open call yesterday. 53 were called back today. Welcome back, everybody. Hi. I am Janice, and I am here to find the next capital IT male and female supermodel. It goes. <laughs> today, I see two girls. I see about eight guys. We need more girls than guys. Once again, we're going to take the pictures as cool as we know and see who moves and who, who doesn't pop out. Who pops stays. Nathan, let's take a, a new side of the agency. He's doing a more commercial approach. And uh, oh, yes. those girls. I forget. He's got his own, like, mini agency, hasn't he? Instead of Peter Ham, who seems to want to know all of the commercial girls. Make it make sense. Don't pop. I'm, I'm going to say Nathan. Pop that pussy. If it doesn't pop, die. Good heavens. That's how we're going to play it today. Right. Oh, I'm not going to know about shit. these models until we actually see them move in back of the camera, and I'm able to show Peter, Lisa, Duke, and Gabe the actual photographs that Charlie Gateway Brock to the and I are taking guy. today. Right. Oh, there's an actual photographer. Oh, no, it's just Janet. Work it out. Work okay, let's that take your shirt. shirt. Off and your pants off, and then come out with the watermelon. Oh, God. Take your pants off and come out with the watermelon. Hello. How is this Hi. glam? Janice. What's going on? How is this hope for hey, Can we shoot? I love you too, bye. This is perfect. Oh, my God, this is odd. Yes. Horrible. Oh. How old are you? Oh, yes. I love you. Oh, look, she's so MySpace. What is with Janice taking these awful photos? What is that? Like, look, that is the worst. Like, if you saw this on a call card, would you be like, wonderful, the next Leon Dame has been found? Although, I suppose Leon Dame is now. This would be like, Leon Dame's predecessor has been like you just wouldn't would you no like what is what is this selling this isn't even selling the watermelon to me i don't want that i'm in love oh, let's critique this actual picture again shall this we is perfect 
Oh my god, this is odd. Yes. For someone taking such a photo down and then up, you'd think their legs would look really long, but somehow she has made this tall, handsome gentleman look shorter than he is because she can't take a photo. Why? Sure, I understand high-key lighting, I understand a high-key photography setup, I sort of have something vaguely resembling a high-key setup here. Lights at the back, lights at the front, in the most, like, basic terms you can imagine. Why is he off to the side? Why have we cut part of his foot off here? Why is he smiling like that? Why have we got one pixel in detail? Why has he got a watermelon? For what purpose? <laughs> Horrible. I'm just a little bit out of the We have a model. Wait, wasn't she like, how dare you do all that, little hoochie mama, to a model just like two episodes ago? Oh, honestly. We have a model. Mariana, you probably have the best face here and the best genetic disposition to go on to becoming an A-list top model. Right. We're going to do like a, a, a naked shot. So, get naked. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting naked. Is that okay? Um, yeah, I'll do it. Go into the changing room. Come out with a towel. Security. All the men, get away from the set. How naked do you want her to be? Naked. <clears throat> Completely nude. Naked. She doesn't. She doesn't want to? If you're uncomfortable with being naked, put the towel around your lower half, and we'll shoot you with your hands over your breast. No, Just change okay. the shot then. Change the shot. Coming up. This lens. Why would you no like no? Change the shot. This is a test shoot. You shouldn't be getting naked in a test shoot. Janice Dickinson's modeling. If you're uncomfortable with being naked, put the towel around your lower she half. She's gorgeous. And we'll shoot you with Drop your hands over your breast. Gorgeous. No one will see anything. I was in the middle of callbacks and Janice is gonna give her a compliment. Mariana, and she just wasn't giving me what I needed to make these photographs worthwhile. Smile. Right. Do you want to look like that in every shot? No. I'm getting that in every shot. Okay, don't be afraid of me. I have that camera. Right there. <laughs> okay. This is the last time I'm going to try to do this. Maybe if I'm comfortable that you're naked, da da da, hide your breast. I don't care. Give me something different. You got to go. I'm bringing a hot guy in. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you again. Take your pants off, coming oh. back of her. You know what? Get in back of her. Take your clothes off and just hide your hide your uh, Johnson. Just poke out a little bit of butt. All right, yeah, just a little bit of butt. That's hot. I'm not getting this from either one of you. Things are kind of pretty stressful, but I just got to get through it because I guess, you know, in this industry, I guess, you know, it is going to be harsh. Hopefully we can just get through this and make... She was like, get all the men away from the set if she's going to be naked. And now she's like, come on, men, come in and get naked with her. This... No, huge boundary oversteps here. This is not appropriate. Not appropriate. What is this? What is this? Who's, who is she going to advertise these photos to? Your work. Come around, grab her. Can't see it. Hide, your, hide, hide that. No, I'm not getting it. I'm not. Janice thought it would be a good idea to bring a guy in. So we both had to get naked. And I guess the chemistry just wasn't working for her. Most I'm gonna get today. All right. Thank you. Discarded. Absolutely just that is a disgusting peep behind the curtain at what some photographers are like in the industry. That is so exploitative. I cannot believe she did that. Okay, picture me rolling. Good. Sell us that idea. If I would have been in that room at that casting and saw them do that, I would have walked straight out. I'd have been like, absolutely not. This lens tells no lies, AJ. Is she going to ask him to get naked? Leisure, you are No, what a surprise. Hot. Either everyone is doing the same style of photo shoot so you can actually understand who exactly is popping or not. What's the point? Otherwise, there's no fair test. Oh, Janice Wadley Chance, and I'm just, I'm just gonna give it all and just put everything out there and just make Janice see She's that. You have a like perfect 85. everything. Good. She's awesome. That's like Naomi. Naomi looks like a man in person. No, not kidding you. When, when she was 14, you know, she was like this. You've got it. Thank you. Thank you. What has this episode just become? Naomi looks like a man in person. And when she was 14, she was just... Have I slipped into the Twilight Zone? What is this? What? Uh, I'm sorry. Got it. Thank you. I'm sorry. Tell me. Tell me. 
the purpose of this photograph. Please explain to me, in high fashion terminology, the point of this photograph at a callback photo shoot. For why? Move it around, babe. Move it around. Let's see a model. Naughty, start to like, like take your tie. You know, do that GQ thing. Yeah, come on. Cover Rolling Stone. Suck in your gut. Suck it in, suck it in. Of course, I knew I wouldn't be able to get through a photo shoot with her without taking my shirt off, so I can't see how it could have gone any better. Take the bottle, dump it over your head, and give me, give, give, no, 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 let look at me while you're doing it. I'm just going to try to relax here a little bit and really think about what I have, you know, the opportunity that I have here to model for Janice. And I I was going to say a word then. I don't think I can say on YouTube, actually. But Janice is definitely being... Um, she's taking advantage of eye candy in a way that, like, peeping toms do. And what would you call a peeping tom? I kind of hold it in my hands. Put it over your head. Come on. Look at me. Claire, it's cold water! Sex cells. Sex cells. Sex cells. Sex cells. Sex sells, Janice, except you've been telling everyone to not be too sexy, and then you're putting them on the runway and being like, oh. Is this just what? awful I love your framing. braces, they're so cute. Another one. Mom, come look at this. Go, go over there for a second. Go, let's shoot, let's shoot If mom I was her mom, if I was a mom here, and I'd seen what I just saw with Mariana, I'd be like, absolutely, we're not doing this, goodbye. This Big smile right at the camera, big smile. I don't have that camera, I lied. Nice to see you, so JP. Mr. Survivor Lost Guy or the Lost Survivor that, Guy? That, that would be me. That would be you. Did you ever win the Survivor? No, but I should have. I was on Survivor, and ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to model. Give me eyes slowly to me. JP, on the poses. Can I, uh, can I do something for what you, Mr. Doing? What do you think? Uh, do you like? I can't believe who is- No photo of quality that she is taking. She has any business being on the floor. Wait, excuse me, JP, what? All you're gonna get if you take a photo from the floor like that in a, in a studio setting is loads of the, like, behind the scene, behind the backdrop. Came up to me outside. Wait, what's she Wait, now? I can't believe who is this girl? Wait, excuse me, JP, what? She came up to me outside. She wanted to know about auditioning, and I can't send this away. How old are you? I'm 18. How tall are you? Six feet. Go in there and get your makeup right now. Thank you. I cannot believe that we found this girl just hanging around outside. I'm really excited to see what she looks like and how she photographs when we put her in hair and makeup. Okay, please take your pants off. More. Give me an underwear Did you hear, shot. did you hear, did you hear the makeup artist then go, woo-woo, naughty, exploitation. Give me an underwear shot where, where you're selling, like, your package. Where you're selling Charlie, your package. Get rid of his underwear. You know, when Janice asked me to take off all my clothes, at first I was real hesitant, but at the same time, I just figured it's such an opportunity of a life, so just do it. Locker room shot, yeah. It's very good. That's hot. I've never done a naked photo shoot before. I actually had no problems with it. I used to play athletics, so I, I have no problem being naked in front of people. What is that for? What product is this selling? DIY Leapfrog 2007? Like, what is this? Kiss me, Kate! I am a computer nerd. My job is to repair computers for Geek Squad. When I was pulled into the Janice oh my gosh, modeling agency, 48 I went with my friend to the Hollywood and Highland Mall. I saw there was something going on at that modeling agency, and I went up and asked, like, when the next auditions were, and they just threw me inside. What you got for me, Katie? Oh, is she gonna be the face now of Janice? See, this is what I'm talking about, everybody! I love everything you're doing. When Janice and I were shooting, she had the camera in her hand, and I think I kind of blew him away. All of these photos that Janice is taking are just gonna be like of the background lights and of the backdrop and of the reflector. Like, there's even markers on the floor where a photographer should be standing, and Janice is like, no! The ceiling on the floor! Why am I even getting irate about this? Unhinged. I would be honored to be your agent. Honored. Ah. This we morning was hiding. not supposed to happen. This morning was pure luck. Okay. It was it a perfect like fashion this. moment? Being in the right place at the right time. Ridiculous. Right, okay. What do you have for me today? Um, everything. I'm trying to bring you as much as I can. Go on. Now look up there, yes! You're a gazelle today. <laughs> you see that smile that you have right now? When you just giggled, you went, <laughs> that was real. I want to see that too, a lot of real smiles because you're 19 and hot and fun. 
didn't she just say to someone else, like, don't do all of that? Like, we're going to get your personality, your bubbly, lively personality, and we're going to crush it. Didn't she just say that? So, like, again, what are the standards? It's good to have you back in the fold. Andrew Brett, I was back at it again. Go. I always knew Andrew had potential, no matter what Peter said. I look at the film, your eyes, they, they, they just almost seem scared to me. It's obvious that he worked really hard to improve on himself. Really? I'm like really glad months. that he came back to give us a second chance. Oh, all right, Andy. All right. Let's see what you got. Have you, do you still have your magic? <laughs> a good photographer can really make someone... A good photographer can really What's actually right, bring something out of people. Photography itself is part of the art, the art of selling literally like flat images. And it said 148. Jordan Lee apparently graduated high school at 12 years old, so I wanted her to prove it to me. I have a test for you. Oh no, this is horrible. Crumb is to bread. As, as an ounce is to a unit, or splinter is to wood, or cream is to butter. Splinter is to wood. You got it. I told you. Splinter is to, an, crumb is to bread. As, as an ounce is to a unit, or splinter is to wood, or cream is to butter. Splinter is to wood. You got it. I told you I'm a smart cookie. All right, honey, who's the head designer for Louis Vuitton? Hey, you do need to know a little bit about the industry. I'm about to do my photo shoot with Janice, and I hope I give her everything that she wants and needs, and I don't want to walk out here with, you know, with a no. So happy to talk to you. Get over that, okay? Get over the idolization right now. I'm here for you. Okay. So. You know what we're gonna do? Get you down to your tidy whities then I'm gonna slap some cuffs on you. I've gotta like shake you up because you're looking middle of the road right now to me. After I read you know, her books and I found out that she was doing an agency, I knew she was the only person that I wanted to sign with. And if, if I don't sign with her, I probably may not continue with it. You do the eye. Uh, you do the eye. Uh. Shut up! I love Janice more than life itself. Like she's the reason why I wake up every morning and I can't sleep. Did she write convict across his chest and put chains on him for a test photo shoot, for a callback to an agency that's meant to be about high fashion models in Hollywood? Okay, all right. Maybe I won't go anywhere near that. No. Good night because I think about her. I I have so it. he is in love with Janice Dickinson. Thank you. It's gonna be a no, obviously. I am so thrilled about today, I can't tell you. All right, so listen to me. Jordan's gonna need some teeth work. Lisa, killer. Peter, she's just such a girl for 17 magazine going of her going glamour. To this, like, oh, she's gonna need some teeth work. So does that mean the agency's gonna pay for new teeth? Like, what does that mean? The Survivor guy was rocking. I like to look. Kate. She's the best girl in the agency right now. Everybody else can go take a hike. What about Mariana? Where she's out. She's out. Don't even bring it up. Nathan and Peter have been pushing for commercial girls in this agency from day one. So I decided to let Nathan, my son, head the commercial division. Why don't you take the job? Right. And you run that. She should have really given that to Peter. If you think you can do a big stuff, someone with actual. By all means, you had a deal. Experience. On a trial basis alone. Uh, what about this division you said I could run? What about it? What about the other girls that you don't like? I'll get it to say it one more time because I have respect for you and I have respect for Peter, although you're not quite getting it yet. Yeah, she's phenomenally to look at for one shot, but no one in history will be able to work with this girl. Why? And she eats too much cake. I'm not putting my name on it. Then don't put your name I'm on it. I'm not even putting your name on it. You can't. Well, I'm protecting you, okay? It's, it, the subject's closed. Sorry. I don't get it. My mom puts me in charge of the commercial division of the agency, and yet every time I have an opinion or anything, I feel like I get shut down. You do, right, because so she can't communicate. And she can't compromise, which is the whole Welcome point of running back, a business. You, you adapt you know, to what's this available. This has just been a great, great day for me. 3,000 men and women cast, and I boiled it down to eight. I boiled I've it wanted eight. to do this for at least five years. But if I don't make the agency, I'm probably going to have a nervous breakdown. No, this agency is going to give you that. Relive all the drama from season one of the Janice Dickinson modeling. Uh, you can do that on my channel, yes. I'm about to announce which eight men are about to Why has the audio gotten quiet Janice again? Modeling agency. Would Jonathan Cox please step forward? Jonathan, you were amazing. People are gonna say, uh, John's too short. 
But I just see something in you. You will kick some butt in this industry. Right. This is a very big life-changing thing. I'm going to have to move out to L.A. and to He's home very calm and fine. Johan Scherstrand. Johan. I heard that you're in, in college. I don't want to represent you part-time. I want to represent you 100%. percent do not tell him. I'm in school, and I am on this student visa, and I don't know what they can do about that, uh, you know? Oh, you have to really decide whether you want the college or the career. College, Welcome. college, college. A modeling career will still be there. Chris oh, no, Strandberg. He did not. He did not just leave school for this, did he? Please tell me. Please tell me he didn't just leave school for this. Please. Please, please, please. If you're out there, can I interview you about your experience on the Janet Dickinson Modeling Agency? Thank you. I would definitely say that this is the biggest thing that's ever happened to me. You know, I'm from a small town, so not a lot happens to Every small town single boy. one is like Will Robert brand Norton please step new. forward? I mean, I guess that's kind of the point, but like, and... the fact that they are brand new means that they're not going to have much experience, or if any, with like TV and production and TV people and celebrity. Automatically, the power dynamic is so blown out of whack. I'm so happy to be working with Janice. And I'll let you go, but I'm not letting you go again, Andrew. Come back. Come back to the Everyone's like, I'm so happy to be working with Janice, but like, right it should be to have a ca- modeling career. See, and she said that she made a mistake. Welcome back. Thank you very right. much. Thank well, you, Andrew. Okay, interesting. I'm going to choose someone to be on the testing board now. Brian Kehoe, the tweaker. I can't believe that I was the only model selected on the testing board, which means a lot. She obviously saw something in me, and that means to me that I need to come to work every day, show my potential, and give my best effort. I'm just really excited to be here and be a part of Janice's agency. I have one gentleman left standing in front of me. It doesn't mean that I don't want to see you guys again, but after careful thought and consideration and a hard oh. choice, humiliated. JP. Oh, there you go. So, humiliated oh, by your this idol. This is the worst heart break of my life. Nothing could ever compare to it, ever. You guys in the back, thank you very much for your courtesy, time, and patience today. She did not need to do all that to this poor guy. You can go. Thank you. That was, that was absolutely a prime example of a power dynamic and someone misusing that power in that dynamic. My family was so proud of me. It's just like I don't know what I'm going home to now. My entire life was riding on today. How wasn't this show asked after this episode? I know what you're feeling right now. It was an honor to meet you, and thank you for your adulation. I wish I could have done better. It's not that you did not not do better. It's that you weren't right for the agency today. Okay? Do you think it makes me feel good to look somebody in the eye to say, you're not what we're looking for at yes, this agency I think at it this does, time? Actually. It breaks my heart. No. I leave here crying. I hate it. No. Thank you. You go. You're welcome. It. You love it. You wouldn't do it if you didn't. Welcome back, right. ladies. The Welcome ladies back. now. So the girls' names that I call, please step forward because I'd be happy to represent you in any capacity. How many episodes have we had now dedicated to, like, callbacks and castings? It's a good, like, half of each season, right? Yes! La Kiska. Yay! It was just a pleasure to see. Are we going to see any of these people again? Or are they going to be like, no. And be free. We're going to have so another open casting day, girls. I'm not so crazy about. I put her in the same category maybe as a Nia Bell. I don't know how anybody's going to be able to shoot her to make her look beautiful. Ooh. The next name I'm going to call out is Leisha. Oh. Thank you so much for all of your effort. Those cheekbones, oh, girls. Oh, my God. This is the happiest moment of my life. The way you move, the proportions on your body, everything was superb. I am proud to represent you as your agent. Right. You're welcome. The next lady that I'm going to call out is Miss Lisa Riddle. The next name is Jordan C. They keep panning to Mariana. The next name is Dr. Lee. I originally went up there with confidence that I was going to get called and we get to the sixth one and I'm starting to get a little nervous. Once in a million years, there comes a girl. As she was describing the sixth girl, I'm like, oh my God, if this is not me, I'm going to fall on my face. (laughs) Kate, thank you. I look at this as a job interview and I got the job. That's a great way to look at it, actually. It 
is a job interview. Thank you. I mean, this isn't a job interview, but the concept is. You know, you would have been a pick for me today, but I really want you to go back to school and come see me when you graduated. You have everything going on. I put education before this, and I would say this. I would say the same thing to my own daughter. Oh, mom, mom, you guys are killing me. She's got to graduate, mom. Do you agree? You just moved here for her to do this. You did? You moved here to do this? She said to finish school and come back when I graduate. No, get the braces off. Come on, dude. That's the real <laughs> reason. Like, come on. That's the real reason. She says, get the braces off. That is, it's nothing to do with school because we saw with the other model, Johan, she was like, you gotta pick between school or this. Pick this, girls. So the idea that she's using this double standard to say, you've got to go back to school. No, the real reason Janice is doing it. We already know Janice's opinion on braces from America's Next Top Model. So clearly that's the real reason here. Come here, girl. All right, honey. Thank now you. get all of you get out of here because this, this, this is killing She's me. quite dishonest, Go. isn't she? Go. The girls that are in the agency now, when they see the new girls, they're they're going to be afraid because these girls are going to be at the same auditions and they're going to take them away from them. The girls we picked this time, they come pre-packaged. Why is they the hairstylist the here? They already, <laughs> they already have something about them that really is a model. This agency continues to choose only what Janice likes. We're going to choose a lot of very artsy models that won't make any money for us now. They could possibly develop into superstars years from now, but they won't make any money for us now. We'll continue to lose tons of money every month, and there'll be no more money left, so there'll be no more agency. Is this Group hug. Is this the yeah, end of the episode? Here. This was by far the most productive open call we've ever had. We've added top tier models that will make oh us God, more attractive to our clients. And we'll also raise the competitive bar within the agency. You are the chosen. <laughs> All right, we're gonna help ourselves. Peter and I have been working hard on the scene and have some leads on these clients. That will be the biggest this agency has ever had, including a potential $20,000 contract with Aussie Bomb, a high profile event with the IFL, the International Fight League, and a two month job to model in Tokyo, Japan. I'm sorry, this is for a 20K Aussie bum thing for the guys, and then to be a ring girl, the modeling agency. And for as much as $30,000 each. These are wonderful opportunities for my models. This is the and first time we've ever heard of a prize. And compete for these or like, jobs. Congratulations, thank you. Are is there a competition? I guess it is now. What? I... Ne no, no, no. No, no, I've got some thoughts. So my lovelies, I've got some thoughts about what we've seen in today's episode. Do you have any thoughts, Biscuit, or only chicken? This was a masterclass in working with someone who is uncompromisable. The closest thing that I've got is if you've ever worked in like a group setting where you have to get a specific result, one of the ones I can think of specifically in science for me, if you have a team member that is so stoic and like, no, we're only doing it my way. There is no other way. I'm not gonna answer the phone. How dare you call me? It's so difficult to get anywhere near a semblance of like a good, well-rounded outcome. I feel like what we are seeing is, again, the Janice Dickinson show. And I mean that from the case of like, everything that she does in this show is purely about her. Even the charity event, Fashion Runway, portion of this episode was probably more about her being an MC rather than actually like the modeling aspect. Because if that event really was for like raising money, why didn't we see any of the like, why was it never mentioned again? It was literally just like an eight minute section of like, the ladies are on the runway, but they're stairs, what's gonna happen next? And then nothing happened. Like, it's like, we didn't see anyone from that charity again say, oh, it was a great event that we made this much money or, None of the girls were paid, and then Crystal had a paid gig, but Janice was also like, no, you must do the free work. It's more important than money, girls. And then, what? In this episode, Janice has been volume 100 out of 100 for the entire time. It also doesn't make any sense to me as to why she's put her son in control of the like commercial district part of the agency, and then also been like, well, Peter, I know you keep inviting all these ladies in that actually work, but no, I don't want any of them, no. And then telling her son, no, you can't also have that. No, not allowed, no. It doesn't make any sense, does it, Mr. Biscuits? No. You're probably very confused as to why I'm like, blah, what's happening? Oh, are you just tired? You just want your little pillow? Is that all you want? Your little biscuit pillow? I'm not gonna put you in Janice Dickinson's modeling agency. 
I'm not going to humiliate you for photographs, no. You're only going to have gorgeous ones on your little biscuit Instagram. Biscuit the sausage one. The weird part about the photo shoot, again, a lot of what Janice does in this show is humiliation based. And I don't really understand why, because she constantly says that she wants like a successful representation agency. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, we are watching a reality TV show. This isn't like a documentary or anything, regardless of what how Janice behaves as if this is like a documentary of her business. It's not. This is a reality TV show, which I guess is why it's so insane, should we say? And I don't know, I don't really like that. I'm not really into that. Let me know what you guys think now. And with that, my lovelies, I guess it's time for the Patreons, isn't it, Biscuit? You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here, my lovelies. Yes, you can. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Sword Singer. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. Apparently your last stream was before the death of Christ, so. You know, 2022 years ago. If you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me over on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays and I stream every Monday and Thursday. And as always, from Little Mr. Biscuits, it's time for the top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, Contrapoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Fable and Flourish, Jen Martin, Jennebeth Herman, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lizette Cares, Millie Hammond, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Novembrix, Paolo Rivera, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm gonna leave it on the notes of if you see something, say something. Uh, does it smell nice? Does it smell nice? And with that, my loves, I'll see you in the next one. And you know what? You've gone and earned yourself a little break from this madness. Ugh!